Good morning vlog! Today is Tuesday and I'm about to head out to have lunch with my friends Michael and Daiji and we are going to Kajiken which I featured a few vlogs back but basically it's like a dry ramen place so yeah let's go! Kima curry abura soba and then Michael got the spicy minced pork and Daiji got the what is this shio so we're gonna eat yum yum <laughs> You know I'm good at mixing the bowls, so you just want me to do the work for you. Thank you. I just I just caught on to that just now. <laughs> wow. Saucy. <laughs> TPT and what I usually do if I know I'm gonna go home or if I'm bringing some home for bird I order no ice and then I add my own ice at home and I use this big mason jar So it can account for all the volume of the ice plus the full boba drink so that the ice doesn't take up as much space in the drink So you get more drink Using the Feed Mei Mei Boba Straw, of course. Link in the description. So this one's for bird. It's the Tie Guan Ying Milk Tea with Boba. And then I got the Jasmine Milk Tea and I didn't feel like having chewy boba today. So I got Crystal Boba. Yum. Also, we went to Back House, which is a place I've been wanting to try for a long time. I've heard really great things. They have coffee and different pastries. So I got some pastries for us to try. First up, I have this Queen Amon. It has like this sugary top. So I'm very excited. Let's break it apart. It looks flaky. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Whoa, that was a spectacular first bite. Mmm, mmm. I really like that sugary top. It's like crystallized and sweet, and then the pastry is like flaky and buttery. Mmm, mmm. The bottom has these kind of hardened sugar bits to it. I really enjoy that. Then I also got a chocolate croissant. You can see that chocolate filling, and it looks super, super flaky. Mmm. 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 Super flaky. Outside has a little nice crisp to it, which is nice. And the chocolate pairs really well with it. I also like it because it's actually not too sweet. The sweetness from the chocolate is balanced out by the croissant. So definitely a good level of sweetness. How the cat's biting? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the cat's biting in the back. <laughs> so we have Tony here. And look at Ollie. Look at how he's laying on the stairs. Honey, you are so funny. You are hilarious. Look at your little legs. <laughs> oh my god, he's so funny. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we just finished filming a short form content. We made an ube colada and it was really good. It tasted like an ube milkshake. So right now I am importing those clips onto my hard drive and I actually have to finish editing a video today that's gonna go up later tonight in the evening. So while I work on that, Jessica's helping clean up from us filming the short form stuff. And then after she's done helping clean up, she's gonna help me trim down the clips that we just took at the window. I know some of you guys were curious about what Jessica does for me. So this is some of the tasks that I give her. So yeah, I'm gonna have all that set up for her so she can easily just trim through it. And I'm going to work on my long form video. It's a video where me and Michael went to a bunch of like new stuff in the South Bay, like San Jose, Cupertino, Santa Clara area. And we just tried a bunch of the new stuff there. There's like malasadas at Modo's. There's spiral croissants, which was really cool to finally try those because I've seen them all over social media, as well as a giant birria taco. That was insane. 
it was literally this big. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm importing my clips onto my hard drive. I just airdropped them from my phone and copied them onto my hard drive. And now I'm opening up Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna drag these clips into the timeline. That way Jessica can just start editing these. And that's basically it. Once she trims it down, then I trim it down more. I add music, I add text. And yeah, pretty straightforward. For the long form video, all I have to do is add a little bit of little extra edits. I usually like to do that with my videos, like a little zoom or like cutting closer to my face to make things more interesting. I just have to add those in and I should be pretty much done with this one. And then I'll have to work on the thumbnail, do the description box, the title, the caption, things like that. The usual like YouTuber stuff and then I also have a meeting with my editor at five and it's three o'clock right now so I'm trying to get this all done before my meeting with her so yeah let's get to it <laughs> Okay, I finished my main channel video and we are exporting and it's 4.59 and I'm meeting at five. So we're about to have our meeting. Hello, ooh, fancy setup. <laughs> okay, so I finished my call and now I am about to work on the thumbnail for the video I just finished. So I had Jessica help me cut out these different thumbnail poses I could use. So I'm gonna pick one and then I also have some extra photos of the food from that video. And yeah, I'm gonna use these to make my thumbnail. All right, I finally finished my thumbnail and I got my video up. And if you guys didn't know, I always spend the first half an hour responding to everyone's comments. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I just love interacting with you guys and responding to comments and stuff. It's something that I look forward to the most. So yay! <laughs> finally, I got this video up. It was supposed to go up last week, but some things got in the way. But yeah, finally glad to get this up for you guys. You guys, Costco closes at 8.30. It's 8.20. I hate being that person that goes in really late, close to closing, but we're gonna be in and out. We're gonna try to be out by 8.30. We just have to get our smoothie ingredients. <laughs> we're on a mission to get our fruits for our smoothies. <laughs> First stop, bananas. Yeah? Okay. Next stop, spinach. Spinach acquired. Next, mangoes. Mangoes secured. Next, Greek yogurt. Yay, Greek yogurt. You guys, we made it out in record time. 8.30, only 10 minutes. Quite impressive. The power of friendship. Okay, I don't think I've ever had a Costco trip that was just 10 minutes. World record. We are back home to feed the cats. Here comes Ollie, there he is. Cat eating ASMR. Uh, well, she ate a good amount. This is a good amount for Tony. Usually she takes two bites and walks away. <laughs> so this is very good. Good job, honey. Good job eating. <laughs> she always does that. I pet her and then she's like, don't touch me. And she takes a few steps away. She's a sassy girl. <laughs> oh, yawning girl. So cute. All right, now that we got our cats taken care of and fed, let's do a quick Costco haul. So first up we have our spinach. Now we also have our mango chunks. Pretty sure I've showed you guys this, so maybe this is old news. We basically just buy a lot of smoothie ingredients, which brings me to the next smoothie ingredient, which is the Greek yogurt. And also we get bananas for our smoothies too. This time, since we were in such a rush, I made the mistake of tasking Bird with picking the bananas. And look at these, they're green and brown at the same time. Note to self. Don't let Bird pick the bananas. <laughs> then we also got these It's It Minis. We've been eyeing these at Costco for a while, but specifically last time we went to Costco, Bird was like, can we get them? And then I was like, I think I said something like, we already have dessert in the freezer, but maybe next time. And you know how you like tell your kids that, hoping that they'll forget next time? Well, in this scenario, my kid is a grown man and he did not forget. So here we are. <laughs> we got these It's It Minis and I guess we'll find out if they're any good. <laughs> 
And then since Bird got to pick out a little snack, I picked out a little snack, which are these Cheez-It Snapped Jalapeno Jack flavor. And they used to have these all the time at Costco, but not the Jalapeno Jack flavor, just the original Cheez-It flavor. And every time we passed by, I always told Bird, oh, I really want to try those, but we never picked it up. I would like talk about it at home and I'd be like, I want to try those Cheez-It Snapped. And he's like, okay, next time we go to Costco, you can get them. And then every time we went to Costco, they never had them until today they have these, which are not the original Cheez-It flavor, but they're the Jalapeno Jack, which I like spicy stuff. So I actually might like this one better than the original Cheez-Its, I don't know. But yeah, we got snacks. <laughs> so yeah, that was our quick Costco haul, literally in and out in 10 minutes. I'm super impressed with ourselves. <laughs> I feel like not many people can say that they've had a Costco trip that was only 10 minutes long. My biscuit girl. So cute, biscuit girl. Kneading away. Work so hard at the bakery. <laughs> Hello vlog, we are about to head out. It's about 10 p.m. and we are gonna go watch Little Mermaid. Yay! <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, I've been super, super excited to see it. I've heard really good things. Bird is so happy that we're going to the movies because he always wants to go to the movies and I never want to go to the movies. And the only time I will really go to the movies is for Disney movies. So he's very excited that we finally get to go to the movies together. <laughs> we're bringing these as snacks. They're nerd clusters. We went through a phase where we were absolutely obsessed with these. So we actually have so many bags of these in our pantry because we literally like went feral and just bought like 20 bags one time. So yeah, these are really good if you've never tried them. Definitely recommend. We usually get them at Target. And then we have a few other snacks in the car that we're gonna bring. Well, really just Hot Cheetos. And so. icy, you're gonna get icy. Okay, well Bird's gonna get his icy, I guess. So yes, let's go to the movies. Let's ride. Let's ride. What flavor are you getting? Uh, wild cherry, and then I'll also get blue raspberry. Oh, you're gonna layer them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Whoa. careful, oh my gosh, careful. <laughs> you got too excited. I see. Ready to watch. <laughs> Good morning vlog, it is the next day. This morning I had a really early morning meeting and I actually had to do a presentation in the meeting. So I woke up at like 7.30 and got ready, did my presentation, my meeting ended at like 9.30 and then I was working on editing the Ube Colada drink that we filmed. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. So I've already had a really work-filled day and it's only 11.30, which is usually around when I wake up. As you guys know, I usually wake up around lunchtime. But anyway, I am about to prepare our smoothie. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Yum yum. And then for lunch, we just have some fried rice. This is just that frozen chicken fried rice that Bird loves from Costco. Delicious. Pretty sure you guys have seen us buy it a million times. And usually to add some spice, I like to add sriracha, but we don't have that much sriracha left and there's a sriracha shortage. And I saw some places selling it for like $25 a bottle. So we must cherish all the sriracha we have left. Alternatively, I am adding Zindru, which is also really good. Just adding a little bit, because I'm still trying to enjoy it, because this stuff is spicy, potent and spicy. Let's eat. Mm, mm. Oh my God, you guys, we were watching this Magic Journeys video 
And they have a hot Cheetos churro at the Willie's Churro Cart in California Adventure. If any of you guys have tried this or if you guys are going to Disneyland soon, can someone please try this and tell me how it is? Because I am so curious and I don't know if it'll be there the next time I go to Disney. So please someone try it for me and tell me because I'm dying to know. I also wanted to show you guys how I usually keep my spinach. So once I open this package, I keep it in this produce keeper. So I put paper towels on the sides too to help soak up the moisture from the spinach. So I kind of just line it like that. And then I just add the spinach in. And then I also add another paper towel on top <laughs> to really help with the moisture. And I put the lid back on and I keep it on this high humidity setting. And I find that this really helps our spinach stay fresh for longer. Cause sometimes if we can't get through it within the week, then it would go bad and get all like wilty and gross, but this helps it stay fresh for a good amount of time. Okay, so the last time I went to TPT, I got just a plain Tiaguan Ying milk tea, full sugar, no ice, because I wanted to try making Tiaguan Ying milk tea ice cream with it. And what we learned from the jasmine milk tea one was that it needed more heavy cream and sugar to really make it seem like ice cream otherwise it was too icy so I poured in my Tiaguan Ying milk tea and I added some heavy cream and sugar and mixed it all together and I froze it so now it's time to see what the creamy can do let's see some creamy magic She's powdery. <laughs> so when I was filling this with milk tea, I had some extra, which I reserved specifically for this. So I'm gonna add some of the extra milk tea as liquid to help it along. And then we're gonna blend again. Ooh, that looks a lot better. I kind of want to do one more spin because I still see some crumbliness down there. So I'm going to add a little more of the milk tea and then we're going to spin it one more time. Ooh, that looks so nice. Oh, I guess there is still a little bit of iciness, but still also looks decently creamy. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. Maybe it needs more heavy cream to make it creamier. Mm. But it's still like not bad. Yeah. Has a strong Tiaguan Ying milk tea flavor. It literally yeah. tastes like yeah, yeah. the TPT Tiaguan Ying in ice cream form. Mmm. I'm having so much fun with this creamy. <laughs> Do you like this one or the jasmine one better? Or equal? I like this one more. You like this one more? Really? Maybe just this flavor of like Tiaguan Ying works better as an ice cream. It's kind of nice. It has like this kind of deep oolongy flavor. It's nice. <laughs> Why are you searching, will cat eat spicy food? No, I was trying, <laughs> that was just the pre-generated. I was trying to see <laughs> how to train a spicy cat. Cause you think Tony's spicy attitude. Yeah, well, cause I was thinking it's hard to train Ollie, but I wonder if we can train Tony. To be less spicy? Yeah. And so that she'll be more friendly with him? Yeah. Mm. But they're both stubborn. They're both stuck in their, in their own ways, yeah. yes. Ah, the joys of dual cat ownership. <laughs> so in like an hour or two, we actually have to head to San Francisco because they're having this tech week event where they're gonna have like AAPI women leadership panels. And so we're gonna hear some speakers, meet some people, and I believe they're gonna have some food there too. <coughs> so we didn't want to eat too much before the event. So yeah, excited. <laughs> I don't think 
Honey passion fruit. Really? Oh, this one might taste lychee. I don't think there's any. This, this one just tastes like alcohol. Yeah, the lychee one's better. So on our way back to the Chikao train station, we ordered some food from Cafe Okawari. And here we have the egg salad sando. Look at that jammy egg. This one is their chicken katsu sando. Comes with some pickles. And then I also got a hojija latte. Yummy! Oishi! It looks yum. I'm excited. The egg looks so jammy. The bread is so pillowy soft. Jammy egg. Very good. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> this is better? Huh? Good one. <laughs> All Bird does is thumbs up. Okay. Mm. Chicken is crunchy, crispy, juicy. The sauce that they put on it is really good too. All right, that's it for today's vlog. If you made it this far, comment below, world's fastest Costco trip. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!